Why should you have an LLC operating agreement? Rob Thompson here, Thompson Law Firm, and today we're going to be dis discussing your LLC operating agreement. Why have one at all? Um, a lot of LLCs out there uh, are operating without an LLC operating agreement. So if you have a single member LLC, then maybe you don't need one. I would argue that you probably do, especially if you ever get sued and uh, you know part of the uh, litigation process is to determine whether or not the person suing you can pierce the corporate veil. Well, uh, it, it's going to look kind of silly if you have this LLC that you filed and you have no papers, you have no LLC operating agreement, there are no member resolutions, you don't have any minutes, okay? Uh, the more documentation you have that you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's and you're keeping things separate, uh, and that you're taking the business entity seriously, uh, the, the less likely it's going to be that some, uh, some you know, creditor is going to be able to pierce the corporate veil and come after your personal assets, which is kind of the point of having the LLC to begin with, isn't it? So, uh, but if you have a multiple member LLC, if you've got, you know, a partner or two partners, if there are multiple people involved in this thing, you, then if you're operating without an LLC operating agreement, then you're really rolling the dice. You're really asking for trouble because you guys probably don't agree on everything, right? Your partners, you know, they're not you and, and that you don't all think alike. And that's probably why you're all involved in the business because you each have skills and you each bring something to the table uh, that the others don't, right? So naturally, there will be disagreements. Well, one of the purposes of an LLC operating agreement uh, is to head off those disagreements at the pass, to, to basically predetermine how certain decisions are gonna be made uh, so that you reduce the chance of litigation. Because if you have a deadlock, if you have a decision point that comes and the two of you who each own 50%, of the entity can't agree, can't agree. You're deadlocked and you, there's no way that you're going to agree, uh, you know, to, you know to, to make this decision one way or the other. Then the only solution in that situation is litigation, okay? Unless you have an LLC operating agreement that tells you, okay, this is how we're going to resolve disputes. We have a deadlock provision in the LLC agreement. Beyond that, if you don't have an LLC operating agreement, then how does everyone know how profits are to be allocated? How does everyone know how taxes are to be handled? Okay, all of these provisions are in your LLC operating agreement, and if you don't have one, then, then you're probably not all on the same page about everything. So it's very important uh, that you put these things in place. If you're taking your business seriously, and you should, especially if it's growing, um, and it's profitable, you really should get these foundational documents in place if you haven't already. And maybe if, if, you've, if it's been a while and you did the quick and easy and did it online, you should probably relook at those and maybe revise them and, and get a set of grown-up documents um, because it's really important. All right. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. And uh, you can learn more about, you know, what goes into a proper LLC operating agreement and lots of other things uh, at uh, txllcchecklist.com, uh, where you can get my uh, Texas LLC checklist. And I'll see you next time.